Welcome back guys to the YouTube channel. Subscribe and like if you, you know, are enjoying these videos. Uh, get your little brothers and sisters to watch them. Man, once they get good at math, you'll be surprised how they uh, start to get motivated for stuff. All right, so today is a really important topic. I call it slope intercept form. Uh, it's one of the things I kind of uh, really enjoy teaching and spend too much time teaching because it builds a lot of confidence. What is y-intercept form? Well, it's in a math problem where they give you a letter y and a letter x and two numbers. And I taught you on the other video how to graph this equation, y equals 2x plus 1, using this thing called a t-chart, which we did in the other video, and a lot of teachers have given you guys a t-chart. x is your input, so you're going to take these numbers that are over here on the x side, and you're going to plug them in right here. So that's why this says in. The numbers go in the math problem right here. And so what you have is this 2 is going to multiply this purple 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 plus 1 equals 5. And that's a point that we did on the other video, 2 comma 5. 2 comma 5, which would be right about here. Okay, but I'm going to show you guys this slope intercept form and a little cheat code and a shortcut. But let's go ahead and do the old thing that we did on the other video, which is plug in 1. Can you guys tell me what 2 times 1 is? 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 winds up being 3, which is another point that's going to wind up on this graph using my shortcut. This guy's an important point called the y-intercept. It's a new topic that we're going to talk about today, but right here, the y-intercept is this blue number, which happens to be 1. And look what happens when you multiply 2 times 0. 2 times 0 winds up being 0, and 0 plus 1, y winds up being 1. That's exactly why I put the, wall, the 1 here for the uh, y-intercept, and I put it in parentheses to try to get the kids to understand. It's got a special name, guys. It's called the y-intercept. So let me go ahead and make this guy blue so you guys can understand. This is very important. I'm going to put a little first here. It's the first point you make, okay? It's when x equals 0 y-intercept. Now, we just got done learning about slope. Slope is this number, it's in purple, and it's rise over run. And so, 2 over 1 is the slope. Oh, I didn't finish these last two negatives. Let me just knock those guys out. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1. If you guys haven't forgot, I think it's negative 1. That's another point that's going to wind up on this graph. And then negative 2 times 2 is 4. It's actually negative 4. And negative 4 plus 1 happens to be negative 3. And you'll see a pattern here as you go down. Minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. That's stuff that we've already explained. Today I want to teach you guys the shortcut on how to graph slope-intercept form without using this guy over here. Okay? So, how do we graph this? Well, this is the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is when x equals 0, I showed you here. So you will get to cover this up, and you get to make a dot on your graph paper. Where do I make my dot? Right here. Okay? You're always going to make your dot on the y-axis, and they have a, a name for it called the y-intercept. Okay, we got our first dot at 0, comma 1. Because of this, 0 goes in. And now we got our slope, which is where you make your other points, your other so we need to literally go up two more squares, and we need to go to the right one more square. Oops, right, RT. Okay, so from here, we are just literally going to go up two. A lot of kids will make another dot there, but you got to go to the right one. And so what I just did is a slope of two, and to the right, one. And there's your second dot. And you can do it again. A lot of kids will do it again. A lot of kids won't, but I like to show the kids that it slope is the same. And that line that we just drew is y equals 2x plus 1, and we didn't have to plug in anything. Okay? So let's take a look if we got these numbers right. 2 comma 5. 2 comma 5 is right here. It's the same. 1 comma 3 is right here. 
zero comma one, and we got negative one and negative one, and we also got negative two and negative three. So all those points we drew with our shortcut and not doing any math. I hope that makes sense. We'll get a little more practice, and uh, there's your introduction to slope-intercept point.